Technology has drastically changed over the years, but one shop shows us no matter how old something is, it can still work perfectly. From the outside, you'd never know what lies beneath this alley shop. Yeah, I think we're about ready for the case, Jane Bird. But when you step inside Raymond's office machine and supplies, the more than 50 years of sales and service becomes evident. This is a uh, this is a Hermes. Uh, it's a Model 300 or 3000 typewriter. These are made in Switzerland and uh, it's one of the top-of-the-line portable manual typewriters. To call Darwin Raymond's skills unique would be an understatement. Hello. Oh, and the same goes for his assistant. He's not very much help in that. <laughs> Meet JJ the cockatoo. Yeah, like I said, if he takes something apart, you can almost never get it back together. <laughs> Most of the time, he's looking over Raymond's shoulder. He's very protective. As he plucks and pulls, <laughs> moves and maneuvers. That all looks good to fix every kind of typewriter, a skill Raymond never thought would be needed in 2021. Oh, I thought it was dead 30 years ago, you know, and there wasn't much going on. People just throwing typewriters away, uh, going on with the new computers and printers and everything. But now things have changed. The typewriter stuff has come back. Not even the newest technology is distracting the younger generations from this 1800s invention. They're tired of all the uh, computer electronic stuff. I think they're kind of going back to something that they can hit a key and see it print, and it's not going anywhere else. In the last two years, Raymond has watched them return to popularity. And I get uh, equipment and calls from all over the United States. And they call me for all kinds of stuff. So a lot of times they say, I want a certain type typewriter, a certain type style, color. And because of what I have, I can probably 60, 70% of the time, I can fulfill what they want. If you want a typewriter to come back to life, Raymond is one of the few people who can make that happen. And then we go back through and check and do all the adjustments to try to bring it back to factory spec. The biggest problem with these is finding parts. If I don't have it, there's very few people I can get it from. Thousands of parts, dozens of machines. I have probably over a hundred different machines down in my basement. All fixed for use. It's just a resurgence that's I can't explain it. I don't know why it is, but I'm very thankful for it. There is one thing he's worried about. The problem is that uh, there's not a lot of younger people that want to work on them or learn how to work on them now. So before he can put his tools away, he needs to pass the baton to a new mechanical magician. I'm just hopeful that uh, somebody will come along that uh, will want to uh, learn how to do that and maybe take over my position someday. In Glenwood Springs, Colorado, I'm Jesse Cohen reporting.